Welcome to Let's Talk with Lady C. I am so glad to be back for episode two. We are about to help businesses grow and go higher. And now y'all know all in the name of Jesus. But listen, let me tell y'all this. I have a very special guest with me on today. His name is Tony Rositas. He is the owner of Giant Kingdom Medium Design. I'm telling you, he is doing some great things. He is going to help our businesses grow. And I know that a lot of times we are putting our businesses out there on social media and letting people know what we are doing. But how many you know we want to do an excellent job and putting out the best product that we can put out? Well, I have somebody on the show today that can Absolutely help us do that. So y'all give it up for my friend, Tony. Well, thank you. It's so great to be here and I appreciate the invite and to be able to finally meet you as yes. we even work together. Yes. And so to be able to be here to showcase Giant Killer Media Design. Again, my name is Tony Rositas and that's uh, just been a pleasure just to be able to be here today, finally. Yes. So Tony, Giant Killer Media Design, tell us about your vision. Well, as the Bible says, Habakkuk 2, it says, write the vision, yes. make it plain. Yes. And as it says, that is the best way to do it is to communicate it so clearly that a person could read it, mm -hmm. see it, grab onto it and be inspired by it. So yes. we try to do it in whatever kind of way with a flyer, a website, a video intro to communicate in such a way that it kind of stirs a person up. That's what we do. Okay, that is awesome. And when you say videos, what do you mean by that? Because you said do something exciting with the video. It kind of reminds me of like when you first put something out there, kind of like a commercial in a sense. So you want, when people see the commercial, or when people see the video, they're like, oh wow, I want to check that out. So what is it that makes them want to just go to that commercial or that video and take that business and run with it? Well, we do a lot of special effects. We do some okay. great uh, music. We do some great uh, audio voiceovers. Anything that can kind of reach a person that's hearing it, seeing it, whether it's for an event, whether it's for a speaker, whether it's for a business, whether it's for an upcoming church, anything that can kind of stir a person up as they just see it. Okay. I also know that you work with a lot of churches. And so tell me, how did that come about? It came about uh, about 10 years ago. We worked with Bishop Johnson, Living Faith Christian okay. Center, and we've worked with him and a number of others right here in the Baton Rouge area. Okay. Uh, we've worked with several in the DMV area, as they called it, Washington, D.C. We've worked with several in the Texas area. So we've gotten our name out about Probably our biggest uh, advertisement came from working with Marvin Sapp. Oh, wow. We worked with him as well as with his wife, Melinda Sapp, before she passed away, as you wow. know. Of course. And as of we course. did that, word just began to come out and we didn't even have to advertise. Just word of mouth wow. just began to spread. Wow, you know what that sounds like, audience? That sounds like just one word <laughs> or just one person. You are one person away from being a millionaire business. I am telling you, that really got me on fire by you saying that because when you say you don't even have to advertise anymore because your quality of work obviously speaks for you. I can also vouch for him as well as he has done some things with me. But I want to say what inspired you to want to even go into design? Were, were you a child and you like to draw or you just like, like colors, you like sound? What brought it together for you? And you knew that was something you wanted to do because I think that's important. And I want to say to the audience because it starts with a witty idea, right? And so God will give us a witty idea and that idea can grow your business. Amen. It can cause money to hit your house like never before. So I want to know what, what inspired you? It's a great question because what literally it was, was my church. We had printed some brochures okay. and I thought they were pretty ugly. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, and I, I thought to that. myself, I was like, boy, we could do better than this. 
Okay. And I didn't even know how to do anything. But I had a desire inside me to say, Lord, if you just teach me, and wow. if you put the tools in my hands, I'll begin to produce this. So I literally have zero experience. I've, wow. never, I've never went to school, I've never gotten a degree in what I do. And so as I begin to serve my church and do a lot of projects. You about to make me come out of this chair. I have been, oh, I'm so sorry. Audience, I'm so sorry. I gotta, I, I gotta cut him off right here. I have said that if you ask anybody that know me that have a business, I say, if you serve in God's house, I promise you, God will bless your business beyond measure. There is nobody that can do it like God. If you take care of his house, he will take care of your house. And I want you to understand what he just said. I'm almost about to make him say it again. He wasn't pleased with the product. And I certainly can understand what he was saying because I'm the type of person, I'm a lot of my backgrounds with administrative in the legal field. And so I cannot stand for stuff to be not centered properly or written correctly. It's just, it just bothers me. And this is how you know, this is how you absolutely know it's your gift. You can do it and not be getting paid for it and you'll still put out excellent work. And I'm not gonna even say we already know we serve an excellent God. So I love that it bothered you that you like, oh, I know we can do better than that because I feel like sometimes people that have businesses and work in the ministry, they just feel like, okay, well, we just do bare minimum. But what you're saying is no, by me doing my best and putting out my best, my gift made room for me. But go yes. ahead, yes. go ahead, I'm sorry. Yes. I just had to do that. <laughs> and I didn't know that having a business even being really good in this field was on the other side of just helping out in my church. Wow. At first, I just looked at it as just an opportunity or even just a job that was needed. I didn't know what was on the other side. And by just being in that environment of being active to create a website, create a flyer, create one of these things, that something already inside me was what I was, I was carrying. Wow. And so as I began to participate in that, something continued to just continue to develop and brought about the business. Amen, amen. And we know that gifts and talents come from above. It comes from the Lord. God give us the gifts and the talents, and certainly he wants us to use them in his house. And so that's a blessing within itself. And I'm sure Marvin Sapp, of course, we all know Marvin Sapp, love, never would have made it. You know, love, love, love that song. And so meeting Marvin Sapp, how did that come about? Well, Marvin Sapp is from where I'm from, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, and right. when we uh, worked with him, it was before Never Would Have Made It. <laughs> so okay. we, we worked with him before that, as well as through Never Would Have Made It. He saw the best in me. All of those years, we got wow. a chance to work with him and, and his wife. And so I set an appointment. I had mailed out letters to all the different churches and businesses in the area of the city, okay. and none of them responded back to me. Wow. <laughs> so I wow. said, well, forget them. <laughs> and I had called up uh, Marvin Sapp's assistant and got an appointment with his wife. We sat down and even though I had a very little experience, I remember the words that she told me, I love your work and I'm not sure if we can afford you. Wow. <laughs> Which wow. I was like, I just wanted the opportunity. Yeah. And the rest was history. We, we yeah. wound up doing his personal music website. We did his wow. church website and we did a, another a website where they had a called Praise Place, yeah. put them all together and had lots of times as I spoke with uh, Melinda Sapp, who was just an amazing woman of yes. God, yes. A, a strong, powerful, uh, ambitious woman of God, was, was an encourager even to me. Uh, loved the, the phrase that she would say, which is, we just wanna give you the keys to run with everything we got. Wow. And we were able to do that. And like I said, we were able to go through those different years where they just just experienced a boom of success. That is absolutely amazing. I mean, what a powerful testimony. And so I know that the woman of God was an inspiration to you. And I'm sure she was an inspiration to others as well. And I wanna ask you, what would you say to someone that's out there in the audience that wants to start a business, but they don't know where to start, where to begin? What would you encourage them to do first? I, I love that question because it really is three things that you're in when you go into business. Okay. Number one, with, I'll take my example, your craft. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be very good at what you do. Yes. So you have to have a, a self-discipline about learning to be better at what you do. Yes. And, and what got me into this, again, was the difference between professional and that of an amateur. Mm -hmm. 
And so when I wanted to learn, I wanted to get in that arena and environment at a professional level. So being the best in that craft, number one, is one thing that you have to remember. Number two, as you said, you're in business. Mm -hmm. So you can be really good at one thing, but we'll be real terrible at business. You have to learn the knowledge of business. That's good. And then number three, which I know most people wouldn't even think about, but it hits every one of us, mm -hmm. it's money. That's right. You have to understand the discipline of money. If yes. you don't, you'll end up working for it. Yes. If you understand the ideas that can become valuable, then the money starts attracting you instead Come of on. you running for it. It'll even cause the way you work and produce the work to be either so many laborious hours before so very little. Mm -hmm. And money is a thing you have to gain knowledge. So I say those three things, your craft, business, and money. Those things are the key things that will cause a person to either be there still after five years or be there even after 10 years. And we've been uh, blessed to be here after 20 years. Oh, wow. That is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And so do y'all mentor any young people? I say young people, but it could be young people, older people, people in your church that, you know, just want to learn a little bit more about media. Yeah, absolutely. We have two things that we're developing. Number one, we're developing I had put out an application for people to just want to get uh, involved and, and hire, and we had an overwhelmingly amount of applications. Oh, wow. However, when I reviewed their portfolios, they, they were just not up to our standard of what, right. what I have to sign off, off on. Okay. And so what we're creating is a class that allows people to Good. learn our workflow, learn exactly how I do what I do, and get so uh, ready to work with us they'll be ready. And then number two, we are creating a step that helps churches to inspire them just as I did, to kind of give them an opportunity to, to help their church, but also learn it, work and learn from our workflow so they gain that, that professional experience so they can give their church that same uh, quality. That is really good. Now that is really, really good because we certainly want to do our best. We certainly want to put out our best work. We certainly want to be excellent because we serve an excellent God. And so when we can give back to others, and I think that's what really inspired me with Let's Talk with Lady C, because I know that there are a lot of people out there that are doing different things, have businesses, but they don't have any exposure. And just because the circle that you have know about it, and if that's the only people that know about it, your circle is too small. So we want to make sure that we put ourselves in a position where people can hear about what we doing and how people can contact us as well. And I certainly want you to be able to allow the audience to hear you tell them how they can contact you because I feel like a lot of people can use your knowledge, your wisdom and building their business. And not only that, I love how you are putting out there in the audience, how people should serve in ministry. Why do you feel like it's important for people to serve in ministry? Well, as you said, and we were kind of already talking about, and I, I covered three things that I love talking about, purpose, mm -hmm. potential, and environment. Oh, and you, you're meant for an environment. Yes. But the problem is, is too many of us are buried mm -hmm. by the world. Even if we're in church, we're buried, and the world has buried those things so much to the point that we don't even discover or even believe it our own selves wow. of what's, what's inside us, what we really carry. Wow. So if you can understand your purpose, understand your potential, and search to get into the environment that you are meant to dominate, that's the key in discovering and, and becoming. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. You have to know your purpose. And I believe a lot of times people are already walking in their gift and they tell them they just don't realize that it's a gift and that it's a talent and there's something about it that somebody else needs. And they just think, oh, it's just an everyday thing or it's just something that I do. No, there is a hidden treasure in you. There is a gift in you. The Bible says it best when he talks about our gifts making room for us. And we just want to make sure that we allow God to develop the gift that's on the inside of us. What better place than to sow your gift? First of all, in the ministry, that's number one. And then as you begin to sow your gift there, your gift will begin to develop. God will anoint that gift. I truly believe that because I believe that's what happened with you. I believe, Tony, that God just anointed 
your hands and you ask God. See, first of all, you got to say something. See, you had me at, you said something. You wanted to do something. You wasn't even asked to do it. I don't know if many of you caught that. He was not asked to do this. He chose to do it. Then when he chose to do it, he chose to say, you know what? This is just not really what I was hoping it would be. Then he took it a step further and said, you know what? God, who he went to? God. And he said, God, if you would develop this gift, if you would help me learn this, I will put out the best work. And he is definitely putting out the best work. I love the name because you're just killing it in the media. I'm telling you, everything I've seen, all of your work is just absolutely spits out quality, perfection. And you take your time and you do what you do. You develop it. I don't know how the, the idea just come to you when somebody comes to you and say, I want this, I want that, and how you put it together. But I know what you did for me, and I can definitely testify I absolutely love when he put together my page. So I want to encourage everybody out there to follow Tony. So how can they follow you, Tony? Well, you can go to our website, uh, four letters, gkmd.com. G is in giant, K is in killer, M is in media, D is in design.com. And you can see a lot of samples, work we did. You can contact us. You can uh, share us our info. That's basically how you can reach us. And I love how you don't have to be living in the same city anymore to get the word to run over here. We have social media is doing it where you can reach people, pay for everything online, and you're done. Then you just wait for your product. I think that is absolutely amazing. What is your turnaround time like when you do flyers and other projects that people may ask you to do. Yeah, for flyers and graphics, it's usually a one to two day turnaround. Uh, for websites, those are a lot more content that you have to build. So some of those may take a few weeks and videos may take within a week, uh, okay. but our turnaround times are pretty good. Okay, so I wanna talk about the websites a little bit because I know that you have done a lot of websites. I love some of the websites that you've done. I've looked at them myself to see which one I want to mimic. But I want to know, so when you first start off in a business and building your website, what should the main focus be? I think our audience should know that. Yes, and when we're working with a client, we look for their vision. Okay. They may have a certain color scheme or okay. they may be wide open to that, but really it's a vision. The vision of what needs to be communicated, from there, we just everything builds off of that okay. because that's what it has to come back to that people just have in their mind so that that creates this thing they remember you by. And so that's what we take a lot of time to try to achieve and to learn. OK, so capacity. even if they come to you and they don't know what they really want, because sometimes you don't know what you really want. You just know I want to have a website for my business, but I'm really not sure what I want or what colors you can help with all of that. Yes, and even as you said, they may not know what they want, but we found that people really do. They just don't know how to articulate it. Even okay. if there's not a whole lot of content created, just describing a little bit of their idea causes them, because there's something really there in every business, every product, every organization that gets formed, there's something there. Even if there's only a little bit to communicate it, okay. When we ask them, all of a sudden, the things that really inspire them comes out of them. And that's what we try to remember to listen for. And that's what we try to communicate as we build from it. There. That is absolutely amazing. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on Let's Talk with Lady C and sharing your vision, sharing your business ideas. I want to thank you for encouraging so many people out there that have a heart to want to start a business, but they don't know how to get started. And I also want to thank you for just being you and allowing God to cultivate and to also elevate you in the media business. And I have heard of quite a few businesses that are doing social media, media design, and what I would like to ask you, and this will probably be my, probably my last question I want to ask you, when it comes to social media and putting your business out there, do you feel like most of the businesses out there are legit? And can you tell if it's a legit business or not based on how they have put their business out there on social media? Well, you can be conned <laughs> if someone's okay. good so at it. I want to deal with being conned because yeah. I've had quite a few 
friends that have told me that they have been conned by, you know, contacting businesses on social media because we talk about the good part, but there's also that side of it as well. And you just want to make sure. Now, I, let me just say this. He's definitely on <laughs> up and up and he's really doing a fantastic job. But I'm talking about how uh, is there any signs you should look for? Because they can make it look really good. Yes. And this is another reason why we love people calling us and talking to us, because we, we're not just after a sale. We're not just after you know money. We're after relationships. And That's so it, we like to be a great source of knowledge so that it could cause you to even ask the right questions of the people that you work with. Uh, because I, I say that you can be con because from a presentation standpoint, they can have a real convincing page. They can have yeah. convincing information to make you believe a thing. Yeah. And, and until you actually experience it, that's when you would really see if it is a con or, or not. But if you gain the right kind of knowledge from as, as us, for example, yes. that know how to talk to different people will help you ask the right questions that I you should see. be looking for that could cause red flags to come up and cause you to be able to say, well, let me slow down on jumping right. in with them right away right. and ask these right questions. Right. I think that's important. You've got to ask questions. You don't just go at face value and just because it looks good, you know, that don't mean it is good. And so I love what you shared about that because it is important that we do our homework, that we investigate and make sure we check out some reviews. Who else have used this company before, you know, and even checking Better Business Bureau. You know, you just have to check everything these days so that you won't be caught and taken advantage of. But I want to say you cannot go wrong with Giant Killer Media Design. They are the best in the business. I want you to know that Tony is very sincere about what he does. And also, he's very good at what he does. Go check out his website. What's the website again? GKMD.com. G is in Giant, K is in Killer, M is in Media, and D is in Design.com. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Well, that's all that we have for today. I want to thank you for joining. Let's talk with Lady C. Want to give a shout out to my special guest again, Tony Rositas. And I want to thank all of you for going to his website, making sure that you check out his different designs. As he said, he does flyers. He does business cards, and we forgot to mention that. He does anything you need with media. He can assist you with those needs. I want to also say, give a special shout out to Perry and Perry Productions. If you are in need of any feminine needs, please reach out to Perry and Perry Productions. They are doing some great things as well. And I want to close out by giving a shout out to your beautiful wife who's been sitting patiently doing a great job of making sure her husband is on task. You know, they say behind every, every good man, there is a good woman. You got a good one. I just want to say that. So that's all that we have for today. See you next time. Let's talk with Lady C who's helping to build one business at a time. Let's join Lady C by sponsoring these businesses who are making a difference in Baton Rouge and the surrounding area. If you'd like to be a guest on Let's Talk with Lady C, go to her Facebook page, Caroline Henderson Perry, and complete the application, and one of our staff members will contact you or email perrycarolyn42 at gmail.com. Special shout out to producers Vincent and Christy Perry, with Perry and Perry Productions, music created by jazz violinist Sean Ward, with SW Experience, and singer Nicole Henderson Spike. Special shout out to the sponsors Beautician Stylist Melissa Gaines with Glam Beauty Bar, Image Garden, Giant Media, and Bayou Brick Masonry. Let's Talk with Lady C appears on Royal Witness TV, social media, Facebook, YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. If you're interested in being a sponsor, please email or call Lady C at 225-253-1346. Let's build one business at a time.